For today's class I am going to teach you brief introduction of actuators, types of actuators and working principle. Links and the joints are the skeleton of the robot, the actuators are the muscles of robot to move or to rotate the links to change the configuration of the robots. Basically, there are four types of actuators are available, that are 1. Electric motors such as servo motors, stepper motors, direct drive electric motors. 2. Hydraulic actuators such as single acting double acting cylinders. 3. Pneumatic actuators. 4. Novelty actuators such as shape memory alloy actuator, magnetostrictive actuators, electroactive polymer actuators, piezoelectric actuators. Hydraulic actuators and pneumatic actuators both are classified as linear actuators called as cylinders and rotary actuators called as motors. Pneumatic actuators. These utilize pneumatic energy provided by the compressor and transforms it into mechanical energy by means of pistons or turbines. Figure shows small animation on working of pneumatic actuator that utilizes compressed air to provide actuation. It is very similar to hydraulic system, here the pressurized air is used to drive linear or rotary cylinders, controlled by manual or electrically controlled. It operates at a much lower air pressure 100 to 120 pound force per square inch maximum. This type of actuator is used for insertion purposes, where the actuator is all the way forward or all the way backward. In this system, the exact location of the piston is sensed by a feedback sensor such as a linear encoder or potentiometer. This information is used in a controller that controls the air pressure on the two sides of the cylinder through a servo valve to control the exact position. They are mostly used either as on-off devices or as accessories in a robotic cell in conjunction with robots for material handling and similar purposes. Figure shows that how the compressed air is utilized to move the piston rod in left and right directions. Hydraulic Actuators this actuators transform the energy stored in reservoir into mechanical energy by means of suitable pumps. Figure shows the way of hydraulic energy is converted into mechanical energy by means of moving the piston to provide actuation. Many of the industrial robots use hydraulic actuators and that are best suited for large robots such as civil and military service. Hydraulic actuators provide the force or torque needed to move the joints and are controlled by the servo or manual valves. Here fluid is pressurized oil and operates at 1000 to 3000 pound force per square inch. Electric motor that operates the hydraulic pump. Hydraulic pump that provides high pressure fluid to the system. Servo valves that control the amount and the rate of fluid to the cylinders. Reservoir keeps the fluid supply available to the system. Accumulators that are used to store some extra energy for maximum loads. Connecting hoses that are used to transport the pressurized fluid to the cylinders and back to the reservoir. Feedback sensors and safety sensors are used to control the motion of actuator and monitor the functionality of valves that include position, velocity, magnetic, touch, and other sensors. Figure shows the components of the hydraulic actuating system that consists of hydraulic pump, servo valves, accumulator, connecting hoses, Feedback Sensors Another figure shows that the direction of motion of the piston rod is going to change with fluid supply and return ports. Electric Actuators There are many types of motors, including AC induction motors, AC synchronous motors, DC brushed motors, DC brushless motors, stepper motors, direct drive DC motors, switched reluctance motors, AC DC universal motors, and other varieties such as three-phase AC motors, disc motors, and others. Fig shows the basic principle behind electric motor. Here there is wire carrying a current is placed within a magnetic field to experience force on each side of wire which results torque to rotate about the center. When a wire carrying a current is placed within a magnetic field, it will experience a force normal to the plane formed by the magnetic field and the current. Therefore, each side of the wire that is coil experiences a force. If the wire is attached to a center of rotation, the resulting torque will cause it to rotate about the center of rotation. 
Changing the direction of the magnetic field or the current will cause a change in the direction of the force and the wire will continue to rotate about the center of rotation. As long as this change continues, the coil will continue to rotate. In practice, in order to accomplish this change in the current, either a set of commutators and brushes or slip rings are used for DC motors, the current is electronically switched for DC brushless motors, or AC current is used for AC motors, although in this case the permanent magnets and the coil are switched. Novelty Actuators Shape Memory Alloy Actuator For a given temperature the crystalline structure of the alloy makes a transition from martensitic to austenitic state, and consequently, it shortens. However, it will once again switch back to martensitic state when it is cooled down. Figure shows that the shape memory alloy actuators that are shaped as a coil spring are capable of producing large strains, over 200% of their initially contracted length. The shape change of the shape memory alloy is caused by the change in crystalline arrangement with change in temperature. The actuators that are fabricated using shape memory alloy can produce high force and can be rapidly actuated via jowl heating. Next Magnetostrictive Actuators when a piece of a material called terphenol D is placed near a magnet, this special rare earth iron material will change its shape slightly. This phenomenon, called magnetostriction effect, it is used to make linear motors with micrometer inch displacement capabilities. Figure shows the magnetostrictive rod, covered by a magnetic coil, attached to two chassis. As the magnetic field changes, causing the rod to contract and expand, one chassis moves relative to the other. Next Electroactive Polymer Actuators By laminating thin films of the material with layers of electrodes on two sides, the elastomer can contract in the direction of the electric field formed between the electrodes, that act as a capacitor, and expand perpendicularly to it. To act as an actuator, the laminate can be formed in many shapes, in series, parallel, or series and parallel, as well as in cylindrical configuration. Figure shows the initial and final configurations of electroactive polymer actuators. Here the electroactive polymer deforms upon the application of the electrical potential. Piezoelectric actuators, piezoelectric actuators are transducers that convert electrical energy into a mechanical displacement or stress based on a piezoelectric effect, or vice versa. Piezoelectric actuators exhibit a strain that means they stretch when a voltage is applied. These actuators are capable of extremely precise motions, typically measured in nanometers. A small animation which shows the principle of piezoelectric actuator, here piezoelectric material is deforming continuously upon the application of electrical potential. Thank you, please give your comments, like the video and subscribe the channel Yantra Parignan.